Holy calamity, scream insanity. Oh, you ever gonna be another great fan of me? Bang. Welcome to another episode of Open Micers Podcast. I am J.D. Etheridge. Micah Hanna. And we are in this bitch. How many episodes do you think we start saying we in this bitch? Because uh, you know what's strange? Uh, yeah, know. You know what's strange? We'll be we'll be in there the same way like we also out here. You know what I mean? Same way. It, it's weird how they mean the same thing. Prepositions on deck. Yeah. But um, yeah, y'all, we just... It's time for an update, man. Just me and Micah. We just chilling today. It's a bit of it. The last one we tried to do got fucking deleted. Yeah, every time we try to do an update, like, another nigga is, like, cool and shows up. We ain't got no problem with it, but this is this is finally, you know, back to homie time. Yeah. Um, How you been? I'm chilling, bro. I'm, trying to, I'm, I, I'm better than I think I've ever been. So hey, I need to, I gotta we keep recorded this up. that. I gotta keep this up. We need to get. Gotta, we need to cut that into a little snippet and then like apply I don't that. Hear, but I, like I don't want to hear that. We're not, going no, no, no. We need to apply. No, that's what you need. We need to apply it to like your text messages. You just being like, I'm better than I've ever I'm doing, been. I'm, do, I'm doing better than I've ever been. I'm I'm good. Fe- I feel better than I've ever been. I'm funnier than I've oh, ever been. Oh, that's the, like, oh, that's the, that's the best oh, one. <laughs> that's the best one. Bro, I'm just I'm, I'm what watching. What did I miss like, last night? I kind of hated I had to leave. I went but, in, man. I was like, I I, gotta I, w- I went in, but for like small crowd. But that's my that's my time to shine. Like, yeah, I feel everybody's that. tired. Like, man, ain't nobody good left. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck you just say? Like, yeah. what you just think? <coughs> I'm out here. Yeah. Um, a lot of newcomers last night. That was cool. To see. Yeah, man. I got. I mean, just if if you if you're doing comedy and you're a chubby guy and you're like, man, fuck the gym, fuck conformity, yada yada yada, nigga, just get you a little punk ass membership somewhere and just give it an hour a day, bro. I know you're depressed. I know you're dark. I know you're edgy. Just give it an hour a day, bro. Please. This is coming from a, this is coming from a nigga early in who's just not, I'm not seeing no results, but I feel different. This sure. is like the this is like the feel different, look the same phase. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like I just feel I feel better. That's good. I, dude. I think a different shit. You bounce back quicker. Hey. You're not breathing hard into the mic all the time. <laughs> you're fucking your mind sharp now. You're clearer. I'm clearer. I'm not. I mean, I, I got shit figured out. I'm still broke. You sure. know what I'm saying? Like, I still yeah. need money and shit like that. For but sure. I'm not like. I'm not like. Yeah, I'm broke and I'm fat. I'm like. What's up I'm with school? Let's talk about I'm this. Fat. I'm school straight to the Spanish man. This shit is. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk to him on Monday though. I'm not gonna worry about that too. I talk to. I get a face to face. I sure. should. I should have done the hybrid class, which is like once a week. Oh, hold on. Which I, is like. I, I was just moving my hand. Gotcha. Which is like once a week and then the online homework. Yeah. So I mean. My mom said don't sweat it, and that made me calm down. I feel like I always feel like I'm disappointing my family, and my but family's like. But do they even know the updates of like Spanish and all that shit? Or you- yeah, I tell them. I'm like, mom, it's getting it's getting real out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I keep updated on that's the main one I keep updated on Spanish. Like yeah. the other ones, I'm fucking, I'm I'm not having any trouble. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about TV. I'm talking about media literacy. I'm talking about even if I'm not doing great on the test, or whatever. Like I just know how to fucking make your grade add up at the end. Like it's just. Yeah. I don't know these terms. You know what I'm saying? I'm brand new to this shit. Yeah. I'm talking about fast fall off, s- slow fall off, uh, and uh, achromatic. I'm like, oh, nigga, I'll get it at some point, but just not right now. Yeah. You know, Spanish is the one I'm like, nigga, you got to stop. What you just say? Stop. Slow down. Hold up. Hold hold up. God damn. Hold up. Is any of it sticking? Like, if you ever hear some Spanish shit, you should I can hear, fucking I can read, you I can get back read, into narcos. I can read. I can read it. I can read it. And, um... Dude, that's and, that. That'd be and, a cool and way. Get and, and narcos would be good, but like because I can you're read reading and the words bit. and you're kind of hearing them at the same time. You yeah. know what I mean, you, and you can go and pick out. You're like, oh, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. I'm gonna go talk to him. Like, hey, is it, is it, can I still pass? If she says yes, then I'm gonna go. I'm in this bitch. You know, what I'm, I'm probably gonna pass. Yeah. But if she says nah, then I'm like, hey, you know, gotta gotta regroup, come back strong. Yeah. You know, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get that shit done for sure. I believe in you. I mean, people have learned Spanish. You could do it. It's just rough. It's just like what, like, and it's just like the disconnect between I don't know any Spanish and you know Spanish. And like, you gotta slow down. Like, you yeah. just gotta. What part is or, please? Like, it's, like, it's just yeah. you gotta slow down. Yeah. But um, you know, it's a struggle. But once it once this shit's done, bro. I mean, fucking. You know, the world's my oyster type shit. All that vague shit they be saying to you. Yeah. You know, just I I just know for a fact I'm about to get on death. I just feel it in my bones, bro. I just feel like that shit's coming at some point. I don't know when, but I know I'm like, yeah. Def Comedy Jam? Def Comedy. That's what I want. I feel like that clicked for you the other day. You started making posts like, if I could just, somebody post me on Def Comedy Jam, I'm out of here. 
No, I was just like, I, like, I was watching Different Kind of Jam, and I listened to some old sets I got. And I was like, I bomb. Everybody's bomb. Yada, yada, yada. Everybody bomb. But I'm like, I had some really good sets, and they sound ratio wise. Like what niggas is doing over there. I like yeah. getting hype. I like getting loud. I like getting goofy. I like getting yeah, weird. Yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? And like that's what Dev Comedy Jam needs. You know what I'm saying? They need somebody to get the crowd hype. Yeah. You know, do do do, do a voice. Fuck it. Like just do, do something. Goofy perform, goof. nigga. Do, do something. Goofy goof. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely. Yeah. Like performing. I ain't. I'm like I don't. I don't care about like looking goofy. I like being goofy. Yeah. You know, so I'm like I I know I could showcase that for Dev. I just know I could. And I, I like more black people. It's like. It's just more fun. <laughs> yeah, it's just, okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know, but I mean, I don't sure. know. it's just, it's just, it is. Yeah. People are pointing at you. People like the reactions are way different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people can't take it. Yeah. You know, it's just. I mean, I don't know. White crowds, you get, you get the laughter. I mean, that's that feels good. You get to get the laughter, but like to have a nigga point at you and like have a nigga hit in his, a positive way. Yeah, have a nigga hit his friend and then you think point that's at you something because of you since you were bullied. Uh, by like and you know you were bullied when you were younger and like having like the disapproval of black people and sometimes like in a group this it hits you even harder when you do it the other way because like wow i've i've like, kind of like, won i've won back like, this thing no, this is like i'm black so like i should be it's like if you were playing world of warcraft and you start off in like the gnome area but the gnomes don't fuck with you they won't sell you nothing you're yeah. like but i'm a gnome I'm like a gnome. i need like this is y'all my people yeah i need y'all to fuck with me so i can like so i can get out of here yeah you know and just like I was just in a situation growing up where I could just no a lot of people couldn't do this, but I was just in an area where I could shun everybody and just like go into my own little world. Yeah, and I didn't really need a proof from nobody else. I mean, I wanted it, but it's just like you know, figure that shit out till later. Yeah, you know. But um, yeah, I'm just I was just chilling my whole life. I was chilling all, the whole time until I got to fucking college, and then I was like, I gotta fucking my social skills aren't up to par. Like I'm not. I should be more well rounded. Sure. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I gotta make myself uncomfortable to get comfortable, and I hate that. But yeah, I had a similar thing. It wasn't as nearly as like purposeful. Or trim- it was kind of purposeful. Purposeful. Whenever I was in elementary school, I would just have like these single, like one friendship relationships, kind of in secret with like multiple friend groups because I would just be quiet. I would be like really sociable and stuff when I got home, but just school, I would just be quiet. I don't know yeah. why. But every now and then, I would get with a person. We'd like, be, but I was never like had a bit. And then something about getting to middle school. Being like the new person, it was, I just remember sixth grade. I was like, "All right, I can reinvent myself. This is time to yeah. me to be like, I'm the funny dude." You know what I mean? I didn't want to fuck with nobody. Like Jeremy said, man, he like he made me and Risen be friends pretty much. Um, Jeremy was like my main friend throughout throughout all of grade school. Yeah, you got the thing with boundaries. Yeah, I mean, just I mean, I don't what what, what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my whole like. What's what's going on? What you what sure. you trying to find out? I mean, yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, I know my life, and I'm like. Like my, it's kind of my dad type shit. I'm like, I, but my thing is, I know I'm not important. So like, why would you want to get close unless you're like a girl and you were like romantically attracted to me? You know what I'm saying? Like, that, I'm just wary. Yeah. You know, my dad thinks somebody's a job to get him. I'm like, you're a maintenance man. Like, what? Why yeah. is the, Why would the government spend I, thousands? Yeah. Every day to track you and you just you weren't maintenance. Maybe that's what you should ask and be like, well, dad, what do you know? I don't want to deal with that. I ain't doing that. What if he told you some shit? Like, damn. Because then I'm a target. And then yeah, now true. I'm in this world where true, like niggas true. are after me. No, I believe me. I'm like, yeah. I'd rather just be in this regular ass world. If people were after you, if you were telling me that, I wouldn't believe you. I'd be I like, know you would. No one tell you nothing. It's his dad's getting to him. I wouldn't <laughs> tell you. I wouldn't, Mike. I I know, but see, like, I just know what's up, bro. Do you know what's up? I know what's up, man. I think you, what you do know is what you've created in your mind. Whether or not that has anything to do with me, no one will know. All right. What do you know then? I was like, I know I can come to you with no fucking people chase me type shit. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> nah, you could. I'm fucking. We can't joke anymore We're on the fucking podcast <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> Jesus We want you anyways But, but I'm saying like But, if, but big, in my big, brain big Me girls. going me going to you Was just I mean I'm driving an hour To put you and Emily And that cute dog in danger You know what I'm saying Like just fucking What You they, hang out there <laughs> they, gonna, they gonna bust in No they won't <laughs> You gonna be like Bro stop why, 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 why? Why? <laughs> why, 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 why? You think he knows something? He he doesn't know anything. <laughs> Trust me, he doesn't know a goddamn thing. Uh, I'll be your, I'll be on their side. <laughs> like get him. I mean, you're not gonna find much, but <laughs> you'll never see me again. You know that, right? No, nah, I don't know. Take me some fucking big black man. They are, man. But yeah, I don't want to get mixed up in all that. That's my thing. Yeah, I, I want to get. I mean, see, like. But we could we could talk to your dad as a, and like he would make sense, you know what I'm saying? Like your dad sure. was more so like just I'm a Rolling Stone type than like yeah, 
you can't hold a conversation. That's a very like you. nice like like cool like little phrase way to put it. But yeah, well, but I mean, it, I know it affects you way more. Because no, no, you I'm, not, I'm not saying that. But there's got to be a fucking a screw loose somewhere in my in my dad's mind. You know what I mean? Like I I don't unless he really wanted to have that many kids and then to not be in all of their lives. Unless he, I mean, in that way, it's like that might be a kind character. Of, a character. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I know his that. dad wasn't in his life, and I know he's probably affected by that. I mean, and I know that by I kind of know that. Like I have that memory in my head, but I don't remember when I I found that information out. You know, type yeah. situation. And I don't know. I, I mean, there's two sides to every story. I bet you know he has his version of being in a relationship with my mother and what that was like. And I, yeah. I mean, obviously, I wasn't there, but it just does seem like. On some level, not only was he just I'm thinking about the process of a human being and just growing up. Not only was he running away from these responsibilities and these children, he obviously had to be running away from some like demons. You know what I mean? Like it had to have been obviously the guilt he's probably feeling because I mean, he's a human, that, right? I'll just put that more on emotional issues than I would like a mental. Cause he, he, I know, but man, to <laughs> to do it and then I'm telling you, it's like he, he like I don't know, man, to just. It's just crazy. I mean, just um, dude, JD, imagine really right now you knocked a girl up that you're in a okay relationship with. You know what I mean? And specifically, specifically with my mother, I, I can say okay relationship. Specifically with my mother, my mother was pregnant before. She told this on the podcast. My mother was pregnant with his child before. Had a miscarriage. I didn't know until we did the podcast with her. Yeah. Um. Shouts out Mother Day podcast. And then if she had a miscarriage. So it was okay. And then they stayed together. And he knocked her up again, and then she was gonna have the baby, and then he left. You know what I mean? Why they actually left? I mean, she told me yeah. one story. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. But then I have a brother that's like five months younger than me. Yeah. From a lady that lived like an hour and a half away. Yeah. And he like picked his shit up and moved, and then kept going towards the coast. I have, I've had. There is. There, he, yeah. He lives in Greensboro with a white lady and three of his children. That he's now like doing the house and the family stuff, and that's great, but. She is like, she was like a grad student at UNC. She went to UNCG. She was like a grad student at UNCG in like the middle 2000s, I guess, or something like that. She's like, if I was dating her, you'd be like, okay, you're dating an older woman, but it's not like out of reach. It's like, why are you dating this like 36 year old? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, I mean, obviously life happens, love. I I don't know. Women do something to this man. You know what I mean? Something is going on. I mean, because after, I mean, I got I got a brother that's older than me by like a year and a half. And then apparently these two twins that he didn't even claim. You know, I'm, trying to put my, I'm trying to put myself in your dad's Exactly. You know I'm, trying, so, I'm trying to put myself in your dad's I, I mean, yeah. But I'm, okay, and wait, you're wait, like, wait, 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 I got her pregnant. I'm going to get up and dip. I'm going to get up and dip. Let's dissect. Dissect, let's dissect the dissect. shit. All right. Okay. All right. And you know, the all fucked right. up part about this, I haven't talked to him much about it. That's the fucked up part. Is you that know the crazy know. thing about it? My dad told me everything three times. <laughs> like, I, it's it's, it's kind of different every he's time. Like, nah, it's the same. <laughs> it all started when I was in North Carolina. They, they were messing with me then. It got really bad once we got divorced, though. Damn. I was like, but I remember so my dad told me different shit when I was a kid, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, talking about my grandfather. I'm like, like dad, like, you fucking up, man. Like, I'm a little and kid. You're, and you're realizing I'm that. a little kid. I'm like, I'm a little kid. Dude. Like, I'm like, dad. You got to do better. I, I I don't know what better is, See, and that's but you got to do better. That's the other thing. You have more communication because I think a lot of times the struggle with like growing up, especially with like a father that's not around, it's like the just the dealing with the question mark. Yeah. Cause like Because I try to reason with yeah. kid. I'm like, he's not here, but like, why would he not be here? And my mom tells me that it's not because he doesn't love me. And it's not that I don't think, because I would see him years apart every now and then. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel right to say like he doesn't love me and that's why he's not here. Yeah. You know what I mean? It just doesn't feel right because I I assume he does have a love for me. And even if he and it's almost as if like even if that was true, he didn't love me. I would understand. We don't hang out. Why, he doesn't know me. Why would you love me if you don't know me? But it's more like I just could never figure it out. I don't know. I still don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Obviously, I think a, a lot of it. And then what my mother eventually did, I think what all of them eventually do, <laughs> which is crazy, is they're coming after him for child support. They're getting the law involved. You you know I get help me support this kid. He's fleeing. You know he doesn't have the money to do it. He doesn't have a great job for whatever reason. But a lot of times it ends up being because he's already paying child support to somebody else. Yeah. And so he's running from that one, running from this one, running from that one. And then he can't get a job anywhere because he has a warrant for his arrest. He's got it, and, and it's, it's kind of limiting a, his opportunities. It's a lifestyle. It's, it is. It's a lot. It, it, it's a it, lot. It, 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 cha- it cha- He really chased it down a rabbit hole, and that's what I'm saying. You're like you're just what you. I'm not saying my dad's crazy, and I wasn't trying to say you were like trying to be. But yeah. It's he, there's something going on with this it's, dude. I mean, yeah, definitely some issues, definitely some issues. And I'm trying. I'm like, my dad thinks people chasing him that aren't. 
My mom, my mom said, yeah, I can, take, I can get you five child support, but he ain't got no money. And that was it. And exactly. Like, but and like, like now, but my dad still believes. It got to the point where like my mom, like, Ugh. I can go try to get child support. They will find him on whatever job he convinced him to work, like getting paid under the books. He's not like doing like responsible life shit. Yeah. And then it'll fuck him up. And then he's going to be in jail. And then he's not going to be around to take care of the kid that he just had recently with yeah. this new person that he's with. Yeah. Child support will fuck you up. My uncle just got his shit paid off. He was paying like, bro, he was paying like $1,300 a month. And because he had a he had a good ass he was paying thirty but he had two kids and um and his ex wife hates him lesbian now hates him happens hates him happens the, his daughters Some, came to visit know, for the first you know, time you know that, that's listen, the difference listen, listen, listen. his daughters came to visit for the first time in like eight years bro they're like twenty he ain't no he ain't recognize them they're like hey dad and he was like oh my god so like, you know get real emotional and everything and they're like what's going on Are we up here with someone well our aunt so and so we just want to come by and say hey real quick. Well, he was like, well, let me just drive y'all back home to D.C. I just want to spend time with y'all. Um, and I, instead of y'all getting on a train and being by yourselves, I'll take you myself. Mm-hmm. Drive you back to D.C. or whatever. And they were like, all right, let's call mom and see what she say. And they call her and they're already shaking their head. No, he's like, let me talk to her. And she like pretty much flips out on him. Like, that's not the plan. They're not going with you. They're never going with you, yada, yada, yada. And then he's just like, the whole thing was just like, how do you stay that mad for like 21 years? I yeah. can't even spend time with my daughters after like eight years. I can't get more than fifteen minutes with them. Yeah, but that was the whole thing. It's just like how I don't know what happens between. Once, I mean, I can't imagine once a kid gets involved, but like s- something goes up to eleven, bro. I think what it something is goes up to you know 11, what I really bro. think because I think about it. You know, I think I think sometimes when you have a kid, I think they talk about that love. I think I don't think this happened in my situation, but in a lot of people's situation, even when it works successfully. And what kind of like is like the core of a marriage, and sometimes people will be like, "Kids save marriage," because I think both of the people end up loving the kid more than they love the other person. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So and it, and it's both theirs; they share it. You yeah. know what I mean. So and it means a lot to them separately, and that can work really well, and they can stay together. They have the love for you know what I mean, and they still love the other person. But dude, I made this is this is a part of me that like it. Well, you know what I mean. This is literally. I think there's something that happens <laughs> with humans. I think biologically, anybody would love exactly the offspring. More than the mate. Exactly. And that makes sense, right? But like, <coughs> if you were So when you mate, get divorced and then it's like, now you have this animosity saying, to this person. <laughs> I wouldn't want a mate that love me more than love the kid. I I'm mean, like, imagine. Take care of this shit. Like, yeah, this, is, this is the future. Yeah, yeah. I mean, imagine having to share your child with a dude you don't like at work. You know what I mean? That's what uh, that's what an ex becomes to you. Like a oh fucking nuisance. God. You got to see him. You don't want to see him. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just fucking a noise. It's, you know. That's terrible. And then they're making, and they have real effect on something that like, you can't even describe your love for. As people say about children. You know what I mean? Um, that's that's terrifying. Children are crazy, but you want to have kids one day. Yeah, that's crazy as shit. I would rather have a child than get married. Is there, sure. option, is, there, is there an option? Is just like chill? Yeah, you yeah. There's that. plenty of people I'm, do I think that. I'm just chilling. You can't. You know what? You know what? You know what's honestly why you feel uncomfortable, like being like just chilling. Even uh, break, though, break it down. Well, even though a lot of people do, it, it's because you can't make a movie about just chilling because it's just fun and there's no like trial. You know what I mean? Just growing up, it's all like family movies. Yeah. It's all the family, the br- the brother, the sister, the mom, the dad. They're you, they're together or they're apart. It's all that dynamic, but you can just chill. It's just no one. If I'm ever in a spot where I feel like I no am, glorifies a, that. I could physically, financially, emotionally, mentally. Defend and support my unit. It's like a family unit. I'd have, I mean, yeah, I go for it, but sure. I'm not at that spot yet. Yeah, I need. I, need, I, I think. Me neither. I think I'd be. I think I'd probably be like late thirties before I'm like, okay, I think I can do this now. Exactly, and that yeah, that's yeah. really responsible. And I want. I want to just. And I mean, that's fine. Dude, why, we're just getting pressured it, by the hoes we grew like, up with. We're getting pressured by these hoes. <laughs> I, I tweeted about it a minute ago. I am watching so. I'm watching so many girls from my hometown turn fuck boys into baby daddies. Bro, for real. And I'm like, you, dude, this dude is Niggas not a piece of shit. Niggas are settling down. Niggas this are settling down. But I, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some people not just like them not being together, and it's just shitty. And then it's like people you guys are have settling a fucking child down, together. bro. And it is scary, man. It is scary. Now my, my whole thing is like, why is it irresponsible for me to want to be safe and want my son to like have a college? You know, what I'm saying I want, I want a, a son that, that can say like, yeah, I got a college fund. I think, I think I'm, I think I'm, look, I'm the future's looking good. Yeah, I'm not stressed out. Yeah, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Like, I should, I should, I should be fucking. I'm hoping all this stress and darkness is for like some little niggas' light. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully not some ex-wife. I just think 
I just think we're, you know, we're in the grind phase. You get to a point to where like, all right, you're doing well, you're paying new bills and you're kind of enjoying life and you're having fun. But I think at that point that we want to get to does get old. And I think people then want more out of life. And that really is in like literally playing the game of life, like the board game. All right. Dude, I feel you. Upgrade your shit. Be like, let's Nigga, work on World of Warcraft. It. You get to the end game, you change, you do different shit. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got all the requirements. You get level I got 60, you do different shit. Uh, yeah, I do. There's a whole nother part of the game. Yes. Do people stream WoW? I was thinking of that earlier. It's funny you brought up World of Warcraft. <laughs> they used to be heavy. I, I feel like people don't, I feel like it's not as popular. It doesn't seem like one of the popular streaming games. It's League of Legends. League of Legends is the most popular game in the fucking world. I was, bro, I was getting mad that they trying, I'm trying to get my shit figured out. Every time I put my USB in to my computer, it's like there's it, there's not enough power on the fucking port to support your uh your streaming device. So I gotta figure out like how I'm gonna get my my shit to stream off my PC. Oh, it's just fucking frustrating. Google that shit. I'm googling. It's just fucking a bunch of white dudes with glasses giving long explanations because they want views on a YouTube video. Just focus. Yeah, but it's just I, want, I, I just want to play video games and have a camera on me. You can it's do not it. hard. You can do it. Yeah, I might get to figure it out, but God damn. I mean, actually hit up I mean, hit up fucking uh Myron. And he's like, yo, it said this. He's like, Oh, you need this thing. I sh- oh, I should that nigga. I watched his stream earlier. Yeah, I, today. I watched nigga's stream. Then it got a hundred thirty dollars from somebody. I talked to him about it. He's like, Yeah, man, fucking stream used to be lit. I was like, nigga. Yeah. That is Myron's a little is. inconsistent, but he's he's yeah. he's a great personality. I was on it one day when we were he was streaming while we were playing and we were like talking shit or whatever. And this one dude asked him a question about like the new Call of Duty and he and like on the chat as we're playing, he's like breaking it out. I was like, yeah, I might get that game because I, I I saw this, yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's cool. Yeah, but he's just that dude, man. Like every time, like <laughs> he's like the he's like the jack of all trades type nigga. Like he's yeah. not not I'm gonna say heavy in one thing, maybe football, but like anything that's going on, Myron knows like. I'll say at least three, four paragraphs about it. Yeah. That's just, just, that's just his thing. Yeah. And he might dive in more if he feels like it, but that's about it. That's cool. Um, um, I'm going to get that shit set up. What's going on with you, man? I'm chilling, man. You chilling uh, I'm too? fucking working this job. It's going out pretty well. I'm just in that moment where you're you're in between jobs. You got a new job. You're finally there, and you're like, you, you I got to check need, it. I, need, I haven't got a check yet, yeah. and I'm working for you motherfuckers. I'm like That's the worst up. part. <laughs> I'm doing you're it, like dude. Working, you're like, man, I'm low-key a slave right now. Yeah. I ain't got no money yet. And I, I'm actually got two jobs. I think I talked about it on a podcast that may or may not have come out. I don't, I don't even remember now, but... Um, I got two jobs, and the other one was just dicking on how... The other one, we started immediately. I, I've already started it. The check is coming. The other one, they're like, cool, we did this form. Let's do another form. All right, we did this one. Let's fucking improve this shit. And it's like these... But they're, I'm emailing them back within the day. They email, email me back like six days later. And it's going down, and it's happening. It's just like big corporate bullshit. fucking bullshit. So it's just yeah. like, I thought that was going to start sooner, but that's some other... That's it, It's yeah. coming, but... Yeah, man. I'm, I'm in the same spot. I, I get paid monthly, and I haven't got paid for these niggas yet, so like... I'm I'm just sitting in the library like man, this money got to be good. Yeah, it's got to be good. Yeah, I've been counting and shit. And I saw what the money's probably gonna look like, and it's gonna be straight. But it's just like mm. that full time shit. <sighs> yeah, that full time shit. But this is nice. I I kind of need the job. I one of the jobs I got. I kind of need it for like a resume booster. That's really gonna help. Yeah. Honestly, because there's a lot of aspects to the job. It's not just the teaching element. There's professional development, um, data entry, um, I, all kinds of shit. Like, you know, le- I'm in a leadership role now, yeah. which is crazy just because sometimes charisma signs you up for shit you don't want. Bro, talk about it. Because they're like, we have th- literally, so the, the, I work, my job is, it's an after school program, it's a nonprofit, um, that has local funders and like, you know, regional and like big funders. I think Bank of America is one of the funders, but like the ones here in, uh, where I live, the two specific ones are Fidelity and Biogen. Uh, and Fidelity is, are, is just this huge company. It's in the, the Research Triangle Park or whatever, which I, you probably drive by and see the signs or whatever. I went to the Biogen campus. It's like fucking huge. It was like a, it's like a college campus, but all for like science shit. Like they're, they're in there doing all types of, they're engineering, they're fucking doing shit with medicine. They're fucking, it's like where the shit goes down. Um, and there's a lab there, and we take the kids there, and they do this after school like science lab program thing. And I'm like, one of, I'm a teaching associate for that. Um, That's got to be good money though. 
Well, the thing is, I mean, I'm getting paid like everybody else is, but there's different apprenticeships. It's like and Fidelity and Biogen are the biggest funders because of the biggest companies that we work with that have. And because I'm, hey, how's it going? I got, hey, I'm making jokes. I'm fucking shooting off the cuff. I'm like, got this facade. They're like, you can handle shit. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm getting paid the same amount. Like, I would have taken the fucking Anything layback. Because I'm a really, well, you're not about to realize that I'm going to lay back and chill and just do it my way. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you, you know, faked your way into a promotion. And they're like, yeah, no, but it's not a promotion. It's just like, you're, the, work. Well, no, you're just like the leader. So you just have these responsibilities. So <laughs> I, I have to just basically, there's like elements of the job where it's like, I got to make sure the other people, my peers are doing their thing and kind of report to the boss. But that's just kind of, like, I got to like, not keep tabs on people, but I have to like be, you know what I mean? And it's just like, that's I will do this, but. I don't need to do this. You can get somebody. You can get somebody else to do this. It's probably gonna do a better job. It's hard to be low key when you're a big black dude. Yeah, it's just hard. It's just, you're six three. Really? You'll and never and be honestly, in the it's a teaching associate thing, so it's all girls and then one other guy. And they, they have brought up so many times, like we were so happy to get two men in here because it's just it's good to have men in a teaching world because there's not a lot of that. So we, were, we really wanted to be diverse, and and so it's like they're like we're like so valuable to them. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that is a thing though, demographics wise. Yeah, that like my mom was like Josh. <laughs> She's like Josh. She said, stop making jokes. I was, make, I was being stupid. But you could teach kindergarten. Yeah. And I was just like. Dude, you know, honestly, what you should do, and what I think I'm going to do, too, especially because I've done this, I'm going to sign up to be a substitute teacher. You should really do that. You really kind of plan and pick your schedule, and it's like straight up, especially if you have a degree. If you have like an English degree or like that, it's like $180 a day. You gotta what? Go, you got to go in there early. Yeah, but you pick whatever day. I mean, people got to be out, but you like if you don't want to do a job, you don't have to. Okay. I ain't no hundred eight dollars a day. I mean, I had to check. There's like two required. I went through it a little bit. There's like some people if you have a certain certification, but I, I assume with your English, I, I don't know. I had to double check, but there's like the hundred dollar day people and like the hundred eighty dollar day people, and I think you can do something because I was about to do that before I started doing this other thing, and I'm thinking I might still try to give that a shot, but um, yeah. I mean, it you know you're gonna be in some middle school or high school or whatever you want. Hundred eight dollars a day. Yeah, it's like, but it's not necessarily consistent pay but it could be like you you end up being there ends up being an english teacher that gets pregnant she's gonna be out for the next three and a half if i did months. that four times a month my rent's paid okay i can do that around something else yeah i mean you gotta go through the fucking greensboro public school system whatever that's called it's probably like i forget what, guilford something and you gotta register and it's it is a, like a lengthy process but substituting it you know it's a good way to go. I, I know a couple of people that have done it. Hey, nigga, I'm about the money, man. Where the money is, I'm there. Yeah. You were talking to a nigga that worked at Bojangles. For two weeks. Three weeks, man. But I was Never. out there for three weeks. It was just poorly managed, man. Fuck you. I couldn't I couldn't work in that environment. That's the worst. Trying to get in. You see, you, you, when you're looking for a job, and you're like, I need this job. But then you're like looking, and you're like, this isn't run well. I'm just like, oh. God. I'm like, this is I don't want to deal with like we're not doing well as the <laughs> other stores. I'm like, well, because of this, this, then this, and third. But you're gonna tell me I'm not like giving it my all. Like that's what how dude. That's how that fucking pyramid scheme that I was in for fucking a week and a day and two maybe in Raleigh originally. Man, it was like you got to keep the people on the phone, but you're giving me numbers of people that were called for the past three weeks that keep telling us to put them on the do not call list immediately or. I don't know, 112 numbers in a row where no one answers. You know, and they're like, oh, we'll get the new numbers in next. It's like Every two like, weeks, then we get fresh numbers. You guys, are, work. are you, uh, and it's just like, it, it's like all of us, and it's just like, this why, place. It's like, why are you putting so much energy into something that doesn't work? That's the whole question. Why are you trying so hard? And bring it back to comedy, man. Why are you trying, like, this is a, we're bringing it right back to comedy. You're listening right now. Why are you trying so hard yeah. to do shit that doesn't work? Yeah. You know, the biggest thing I see, <laughs> and I see this in myself, and that's why I notice it in other people. It's like, sometimes when people are like telling a joke, I'm like, why would you laugh at that? Like, do you think that's funny? You know what I mean? I get why that would be funny. I get why that would be or could Bruh, be funny. Talk about it. But do you think that's funny? Does that make you laugh? Like, what? Like, I like the subject you're talking about, or it's like an interesting thing, because that, that's that all comedy has to be. You got to just talk about something interesting, and then you got to... Or relatable. 
I mean, it would be interesting. And that's what makes it, in, you know what I mean? Relatable things is are super interesting. What is cool is when you take something that's not relatable and you make it interesting, interesting to everybody yeah. by being dynamic, by being like that's that next on, level the, on, on the other side of what you think the crowd is going to be. Because you you're get teaching, them on your it's side. like you're teaching and making jokes at the same yeah, time. Yeah, but if you have something interesting and you can make it funny, it'll be great. If you have something that's not interesting and it is funny, people may or may not laugh at that. Maybe they want to entertain it, but if they don't, there's something, I don't know. I noticed that myself too. Like with some of my jokes, I'm just I, I just had to stop doing because I'm like, I don't know if this makes me laugh anymore. Bro, same thing. I'm like, man, I, people are laugh when I say this, but I don't get it. If I don't get it myself, I feel shitty. I'm like, I, yeah. I, I just, you feel like a monkey at that point. Yeah. In my opinion, like I'm like, this is, I'm just doing a thing that I know gets a reaction. I mean, uh, for sure there is, and I'm for plenty of people that I think we're thinking of or people that we see, there is an element you got to learn how to write the jokes. I get that. Don't get me wrong, and that comes through like, yeah, I don't believe in this fucking dick joke. But I, I think I need to make people laugh so I know I can go one, two, three. I get that yeah. for sure. But if it's a bit you're like wanting to keep around or you're feeling like you're working, if you want to make it funnier, you're going to add to it. I don't know. My biggest thing is like, okay, this is a pretty – maybe you have a solid beginning to it. But like what about this? Like what is it that makes it funny to you? You know what I mean? If you really can't pinpoint it, then it's like maybe this isn't that funny to you. Maybe it is funny, but it's not that funny to you, so it's never going to like – Holy shine. It's never gonna feel that great, and you're never yeah. you're only gonna take it so far. You know what I mean? And I, I like I said, I only know that because I, I see I see a do. I see a lot of comics. I see a lot of comics. I see I see the same few comics at the idiot box open mic or like open mics around the area. And um, I, don't, I can't speak for Raleigh right now. Maybe you have, but they're just doing the same jokes there. the same way, and just that's it. Yeah. It's just like nothing's clicking to go like maybe I should cut that part out or add this part or it's just like I'm gonna keep saying this exact same thing. And like yeah, and my and like I don't it's just I don't get it because like I, for me comedy is mostly revision. Like I'll I'll say yeah. some shit one time then I like break it down from there. Like I I can't I can't really write off of just sitting down writing because I'm like I can't guarantee no laughs. That's why I write premises and then I like go in I'm like then I figure out what is worth to expound on or whatever. Yeah, but it's like some people I just see them and they're just like. Yada 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 yada, doesn't work. Yada 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 gets a chuckle. Yada 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 yada. It just like it's just like yeah. they're not. I'm I'm like what's the what's the thought process? Like how are you getting better? Like what's the? Mm. It's like if you went to the gym and did ten push ups every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's, it's like you, you know, and, and I think that even when people have jokes that I like, like like I feel like I've said this to you, or like I, I know I've said it to other people. I think I said it to Tank uh, at that because we did that day party show, and the first show apparently was super lit. The booked mic or whatever apparently was super lit. Second show, the people were weird. He went earlier. He had to eat some time, but by the end, like he he had him going, and, he, and they were definitely into him. But he came off. And he was like, "Yeah, they were a little weird." I'm like, "Yeah, but you that those two jokes are funny. You were doing them fine. This is just going to be that off. This is the two times out of ten that that joke doesn't work. That's just what you ran into today." But they he should keep going yada 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 because that well, is a good that, joke that's a, and that's it a is finish, funny. That's a finished exactly. Joke. I'm saying, you know what I mean? When you open mic and stuff, like, exactly. when something's not working, Change and you're it. doing it the same way every time. Niggas are noticing, like yeah. no, like, and sometimes you will get a pity laugh. Like people laugh for different reasons, man. Yeah. Like I don't, I just I if like, if your shit's not like, working, I change like, it. I feel like I'm gonna say something. I feel like I be hearing you throw pity laughs sometimes. Sometimes. I'm trying to get the mic going, man. I do it dying. too. You're right. I do it too. I, I, I don't know why end. I pretend like I didn't. I, I go. Didn't do I go it. up at the end and like if if I was quiet the whole mic because you know, it's not a pity laugh, but sometimes if it's not going well, I I am laughing that like I'm laughing at somebody. I laugh at people. Yeah, and I'm like, yo, this is the look. Look, I, and I, sometimes I try to laugh like, yo, turn it around. You got this. Come on, dig deep. What 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 is what is funny about this? Your laugh be the last laugh before it dies out. Like you be the last bastion sometimes. I know when I'm on stage, I hear. <laughs> And like I'm like I got one more shot <laughs> to give somebody laugh again. Uh, oh me? Yeah, you be the last. <laughs> you be the last one. Yeah, sometimes I feel like my laugh will come right before the rest of the bomb. Like yeah, I'll be like, like oh. uh, yo, and I'm like I'm like this here, is my last like, chance. Yeah, here, yeah here, you better go now. But um, yeah, man, just fucking. That is funny. I don't know. Switch your switch your shit up. If it's not working, I feel like I did that. Don't blame the crowd. Know, I feel too. Like I did don't, that. That's another thing. Don't blame the you crowd. You know that laugh I think I did uh, to, it during one of your sets when we did that Charlotte show by the river. Oh my god! I think in one of those I was like, oh here we go. Hey. I was like, I was like one like it was, it was like one of the worst, but it was just like, yo, this I'm is. I'm telling you, man. This is 
what it is. And this is a trench. Uh, you sat down in it, though, dude. This is a, these are the trenches. You sat down in it, though. These are the trenches. You fucking. Oh, we talking about sitting down? I will shotty pump you in the chest. I'm just saying, man. Hey, bro, I, I've just here. seen what you can do, and I'm I, out here. I, the whole time I was like, JD, just shake it off. You got you. You're fine. No, you're they shook me. They shook me. I know. They shook me. You what know what you what you I can't do? win every fight, Mike. What I you know. want? They did shake you. Ain't no one. You know. You don't know. Let's break it down for real. You let's were break it down yourself for real. Show. You're like, is there let's crocodiles out here? Is there by the water? I don't somebody. You shook yourself before the show. They took my uncle crocodile at the 14 years. Who? The police. The, he can, the he cops, can, like a sheriff. Uh, animal control, everything. Animal, everything. Can, uh, animal control. Stri- was it like a cop? Every, co- every cops and animal control. Er- Firefighters. Niggas, and niggas was out there, bro. A lot of niggas was out what there. What does alligator do? Not, bro. 14, do my, my uncle got emotional, bro. 14 years. Bro, he raised it from like a baby alligator. We uh, we held it. And shit. Yeah. And then and you, it, well, at one point, we were like, no more hold up. <laughs> Bro, I mean, it, gets, it got to the like, size of the table or whatever. And yeah. it's like, you know. Fuck we, this. Then we built this own little cage for it outside. 14 years, bro. They took it. Why? Apparently, he couldn't have it. But like, the thing is, everybody knew he had 14 though. years. Everybody knew he had 14 years. Everybody knew he had. Like, You're talking about all the time. A, Got an alligator. Bro, he nigga. would have a wild-ass party every summer by the pool. And, like, he would also have, like, he had horses, alligators, cobras. and anacond- like, he's, He got all that shit. They had to walk in past the anacondas you to get the alligator. Are they all in cages and shit? Yeah. You realize that's weird? Not really. Yeah, it is. How's it weird? Just to live. Yeah, look at it. you. Look just, at you. I'm in the middle of it. I'm just laughing because do you not be like, don't be like, look at you. you look at you. You ain't got shit, nigga. You ain't got shit. I got shit. You ain't got shit, nigga. I'm just saying to dwell with animals like that. I mean, they don't live dog, in the same house. You said they had to walk by through the party. And like, I'm mean, assuming these anacondas are in his No, they're not. I mean, like, like he, this is the thing my uncle does. Like, he has a party. He like He's a wild type of dude. But like, in his house, it's like the house, the pool. Out back is another smaller house. With all the reptiles. So it's just a house full of animals. No, I mean, it's like a smaller, like a... They like, own that house. Like a trailer. T- it's like, you walk, you walk in, you walk in, <laughs> it's like four, like... It's like, okay, it's like a giant room type shit, not a house, but like a smaller, like a, like a giant trailer. shed. Giant shed. Giant shed. Giant shed. Is it lit? Is there air conditioning? Yeah, it's, it's everything in there. There's air conditioning. Yeah. A bathroom. Well, I mean, like, not a bathroom, but like, you got the, the heating lamps and everything for the, the snakes and all sure. that shit. The the pit. Got a, and there's also room. a horse, like, standing around. Horses on the other side. That's in the back. Of the they don't like the snakes, probably. Most likely they don't. Yeah, super not into snakes. Yeah. But I mean, he just has animals and shit. Horses like, make sense. Reptile thing. He's been doing since he was a kid. I know, I get that, JD, but I think you're leaving saying, like, wild uncle. Can I say that that's kind of a weird thing to do? And you're like, that's not weird. Why is that's it weird? weird. <laughs> I was, but like, dude, if a dude had, if a dude had, had a any type of like collection, that you'd be like, weird. that's weird. How's that weird? Uh, just collections like of cards, they're just not alive and then potentially murderous. I think I think your logic is weird. I just think it's I think it's completely okay for me to say a nigga that dwells with anaconda. He don't dwell with them. They're not in the same house. He sees them every day. Yeah. They see him every day. <laughs> they need him to live. They on the land. Almost of children. They're on the land. Children dwell with their parents. So it's not weird. Somebody have a bunch of dogs, a bunch of cats, but yeah. a bunch of snakes. A weird compared to like most of society. Yeah, yeah that is weird. And it's all right to be weird. This guy Kanye is weird. Look what he at right now. Like that's a million. That has nothing to do with this. even million. you were saying like my wild uncle. Bro, I'm out here anyway. Fourteen years before he took it. He got, bro, he, like, my uncle bench presses five fifty, bro. He cried. Did he? I was asking. Did he? Cry? Nigga, that's sad. Did he cry crocodile tears? Anyone make that that's joke? That's fucked up. Anyone make that joke? Nobody did that, but that's I fucked bet. up. He would have fucking just murder. He would have let all the anacondas out and shit. Fucking slap the horses. He was just. Bro, when he got home, it was like ten cops, animal control, everything. He he works at a prison as a plumber. Wow. Yeah, and he just came home and he was like, "Man, this is." He, he, right, had, right, he had the words on, for hold it. Up, hold up! 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 Your uncle. Worked as a plumber for a prison. He works as, yeah. He currently does. Yeah. So do you think there's just a 100% chance that he's a part of some type of ring of smuggling things in and out of the prison? You don't think? No. At how many years has he worked there? I mean, at least 14, like right? Like a year. Oh, just one year? Well, like, a, like a couple of years. That's been 14 years. Five he's years? Had, he's had the alligator since he got, a, got out of prison. Five years. No, he's had it. That's like. Well, so he, he's been in prison No, before. he's. Well, like, yeah. Jada, he's been. Okay. So he's, yeah. So he's been in prison. Mm-hmm. Gets out of prison, gets a job out of prison. Yeah, as a plumber, and obviously knows. I mean, that happens. People get things in and out, and you think he has absolutely nothing to do with that. With what? Like, hey, ooh, the, uh, here's a fucking. You're doing a weird link right here's now. Here's a thing of towels. Oop, fucking brick of cocaine in it. Fucking, uh, fucking money on the outside. Like, nah. I think you're reading. I think you want this to be a Netflix movie, and it's not. 
Not a movie, but a short. They got his alligator. I don't, they didn't get no drugs. They didn't get any guns. I'm not, a, saying, I'm not <laughs> saying. I'm alligator. not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. If he's not doing it, there's no. I, what I'm really getting at. He he's aware of what's going down, like that under the radar prison shit. Uh, he's you're, a plumber. He's a worker that's in and out. He's you're not a thinking guard. About like L.A., bro. This is more. This is Anson County, man. Like it's not like going no, down. But like I'm that. thinking in any realistic prison situation, they are trying to get things in. Yeah. You think, you think my uncle's the king of smuggling shit? Though? I don't think he's the king. I think there's a chance that he may have or has played a part, but more likely he completely understands and knows what's going on. That's I bet you could ask him, and because he, he had to have been in prison and known. I mean, like he, he would know what's going on from being in prison. <laughs> okay, but then I think he might be like, yeah, fucking Officer Frank, fucking. If that was the case, he should be living better. He's not living that great. I mean, if he was, if he was like building like a big ass house, and like, Where, how is he getting these anacondas? Is he fucking raising he's, them? He's had these. You, you're missing that, but it wasn't like it wasn't like. So you're, you're telling me, my uncle, no, right, my I'm uncle, not, I'm not putting them together. I'm not putting, like, stay, like, stay more on the point no, where he no, knows you're, the you're dirty. You're the point dirt. that my uncle like is in the reptiles from like as a kid, so he could one day no. <laughs> smuggle. <laughs> But it's probably going together pretty well. He just got a full time job recently. If there was a snake, he in the been prison, had those. If there was a snake at the prison, he been w- had those. If there was a snake at the prison, would they talk to him first? Wait, what? If there was a snake that appeared in the prison, would they not go to your uncle first and be like, "Excuse they, me"? They probably sh- they should. Yeah, because like, like, nigga, nigga knows. Nigga knows everything. I thought about they were gonna go to him and be like, "Did you smuggle a snake in here?" <laughs> he, I mean, he, but my uncle did. He owned trucks at one point. Like he fucking he had he tried to do a trucking company. I'm not denying. He had that your reptile shop and shit. Things. Okay, I'm not denying no, he, <laughs> the trucks you're, he sold. You're, you're trying to go on some weird Ozark tangent. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm just saying. I'm trying to talk about the injustice the, no, no, no. of these people taking my uncle's alligator after 14 years. We held that shit. That nigga was part of family. His name was Bullwinkle. Whoa. They took Bullwinkle. I didn't know that. Didn't that nigga know. was the. We loved him. Wow. He would eat chickens and shit. Wow, live chickens. Yes. Happily too. He's like, hell yeah. He I'm got like- my uncle's ankle one time. <laughs> to the hospital. That was a thing. Wow. They took him. Um, my thing. I'm not trying to fucking be smirch the, the life of this alligator. I'm just saying, I, not that we would have your uncle on the podcast or anything like that, but I kind of like you know what I mean that like well, does my uncle know about prison smuggling? That's the that's the, yeah yeah yeah. yeah. That's the thing, yeah, yeah. But the link you were, the link you were making, and then, and then I'm just crazy. saying on a realistic tip, if he if he wanted to do it, yeah, like could if he? someone came to him and it was the right deal, he could, he could. That's that's what that's what I, that my he that's could. what I was saying. That and that's just cool, just life. Not I don't know. <laughs> I'm like that's my uncle. He's just so like. Well, I, say, I say he wild. He was wild. Like you remember, you see Prison Break. <sighs> he got kind of fat. Yeah, I seen Prison Break. He would have been a character. Could have been one of them dudes. Uh, uh, an employee so that goes in and got, out. So Anarchy got raw prison stuff in it. Don't think prison break dude. But it's like a lot of. So like Anarchy, if we're being real about it. A lot of rape. Season, season six and seven, heavy on the rape. Heavy on the rape. The writers were like, it was, with the show's ending, we're going to rape this one character a lot. And uh, it just kind of, the show kind of just ends like that. God damn. He gets raped until he dies. That is, that's legitimately his, his character arc from like season six and seven. Yeah, they rape you to death pretty much. You know who the character is? No. Shades from fucking Luke Cage. That did. Destroys. Just destroyed. He gets raped by a gang of Asian men. Wow. Yes. That dude looks like Higgins. Higgins? Yeah. Who? Shades. Oh no. Oh. What in the I world? I think they look alike for sure. Bruh, I feel like you just I feel like you just, you know, the, the herb kind of strong right now, and you you think they look alike. Shades? If the dude that wore the shades? If okay. we held if we if do you not we remember, held them two pictures remember, side by side. Do you not remember side. Joe Beard doing this thing? The whole thing he posted about it. Everybody was like, oh my God, ha ha ha. That's hilarious. That, I thought the same thing. Everybody thinks so. I ain't, I didn't see that. I'll, I'll bring a picture of shades right now. Go ahead. Bam. <laughs> I wanna I wanna see that. Shades, I mean shades ethnic for one. I think we're thinking about someone else. I'm going to bring up a picture. Vamp for me. What's that mean? We're listening to it. Vamp? What's that mean? It's fucking vamp. Just go. Va- vamp. You making shit up. No, no, that's like a fucking radio term and like a musical term. Vamp? Yeah, like just keep playing. Go. Vamp, like it's something you would say like, I mean, uh, yeah, that's a, it's a word. Like riff, go? Yeah. But I mean, like, okay, here's, my thing, here's my thing about vamping right now, Micah. Like, you're sitting across from me, and like the energy, you know, you know you're not. The doing... energy is between the both of us. I'm still looking at you. I'm still, right, I'm still right, vamping, right, right, as quick. you call it. All right. Um, but yeah, where's this picture at? What's 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 going on with? All right. 
I'm just gonna give it to Shades you. and Higgins. I'm just gonna give it to you real quick. Bro, don't get it real quick. No, I'm no, gonna no, look no, at no, AC, no. man. Shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna give it to you real quick because I'm just there is a similarity. Like just shades Higgins, boom, Higgins. You don't see <laughs> even how like the shape of the head <laughs> fucking if Higgins made that face. Oh man, that doesn't look like Higgins at all to you. That one got a little profile a little bit. That yeah. shot a little bit. You're yeah, right. yeah, and that's what I'm saying. And his mannerisms and when he was in it and like he would be doing shit. But I basically what I'm saying is when I saw him, I got I didn't see him get raped. But when I saw him located, I was like, Higgins could play this. <laughs> Higgins could be this dude. That's what I thought. Have you watched Disjointed on Netflix? I haven't now. I was watching that show and I was Here, like, you know, I can put my it, niggas in these roles, bro. I promise. I was like, these right, niggas could play you, this. You know what I think we should do? We we should Okay. But that's I, it's, I would it do this. Shows, I, right. it's not I, I would do this if you would do. But this. it's okay. There's something I've been thinking about recently. That because we always say this, and I I kind of get stuck in between shows to try, then I just watch something else. Oh uh, yeah, just really trying to show. I was like, should I do insecure? Should I do this it? Then I just watch the episode of something else. That's because <laughs> I, I remember I was like JD, I'm gonna try, it. and then I just like watch the end of that uh, that special that uh, Happy Face dude. Yeah. Um, we should do. We should just pick one. Just watch it. No, or, or together, but just one like. Go watch this, and then I get one too, and you gotta go do okay, it. Okay, I mean, I'm I'm on House of Cards now. I'm I'm back. I'm like, oh yeah, you didn't um, watch the latest season. I'm have trying you? to watch that. I'm trying. I gotta get I gotta get through House of Cards. Oh my god, Breaking dude. Bad and oh, oh and um fucking Narcos. I'm on, I'm on that ground right now. Maybe that was not a good time, but if you were to like one, I know what my show's gonna be for you. But what what would what you, you be? what you got? It, is something different? Well, that I think you've heard about. Maybe you talked about. You've seen a couple episodes, but I would be like, go watch the show, dude. What is it? Shameless, shameless. God, why you put the exactly. longest fucking one? But honestly, man, you can go in and out. I'm telling you, if you just did one season, you can pull out and come back and just do another season another time. I I get that. It's gonna be hard not to try to binge watch it because, dude, I'm telling you, my that would be the not, show. Give me, give me a like show, it. dude. Give me a show. Uh, uh, and Shameless is weird because Game of Thrones. How many seasons Shameless? It doesn't matter. It does matter, man. It's like eight seasons, ain't it? Seven. God damn! <laughs> but, uh, fucking um, not House House of Cards has a lot of seasons, but you're on the end but of I'm that. On, I'm, I'm, you're I'm up that's with what that. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You're getting into that fucking House of Cards on a different tip, bro. Dude, I I'm telling you the thing. The thing about how the, this, let me let me defend James. House of Cards, you get why it's cool. You're like, oh, Kevin Spacey. Political shit, Game of Thrones, there'd be dragons just on a surface level. <laughs> Shameless, you don't really understand on a surface level, but when you watch the show, you fucking get it. And it's, I think. After watching just the sixth season, I'm about to watch the seventh. I think it might be the best show on TV. I knew you were gonna say some fuck shit. <laughs> That's I why did. I closed my eyes. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say some fuck shit. I admit, God, Michael, why? That's why I'm trying to put you on. Oh my if, God. if you found the greatest show on TV right now, would you not tell me? And you are, you watch Game of Thrones, you're like, this is the greatest show. I can't oh help it, dog. They, oh dude, wow. they, they West World. I'm like, bro, dude, come on. I know. I, I'm trying to put you on. Now put me on. Give me one that's like you got to go watch this. It was gonna be. I thought you were gonna probably say Insecure, but may, maybe you're saying Disney. Insecure. I mean, Insecure is good. I mean, it, that's one. I'm like, you should watch this. I'm not a pressure nobody. I'm like, okay, I'm, but I'm give me, give people. me, give me your like, dude. You haven't watched. I mean, this. my favorite I've watched is like my personal favorite is The Young Pope. That's my personal like. I watch that. It's like it's a, as a standalone season. This is like. I just I, I'm in love with the dialogue. I'm in love with these characters. I'm in love with the artwork. I'm in love with the fucking lighting. The the um the 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 camera work. It's just it's just well done from yeah. a from a film standpoint. It's it's like a film move. It's like a film TV show. Yeah. But it's just very very well done. And I mean that show is that show is amazing because of the actors. It's not like there's no there's Shame nothing else shameless. about it. Shameless, shameless. It's just like the actors are acting their asses off. Dude, I'm telling you, it'll be. You know, Westworld I, season two. That was, I'm sorry. That's coming out. Ooh. I can't wait. <laughs> I did, like remember I was like trying to put you on House of Cards and you won't really talk about. It. Yeah. I was trying to and then you did I it. Was, and so anarchy though. I, I, get, I, was I, get, I get I get I get it, dude. But then when you came around, it was like whoa! I can't believe I was missing out on that. I personally feel Shameless is above that because no other show is hitting on every level that Shameless does. It's bro, one I'll of those. It, I'll give it a season, bro. I'm gonna give it a strong season, bro. You all right. All right, I promise you. All right, I promise you. All right, do it. Are you on BoJack Horseman? It get, elect me one to put a season into. That's what I'm saying. Like you got to you, watch. You, you've not seen BoJack Horseman. I've seen a couple episodes, and I don't think they're always together. Okay, that's the show. Fuck it. Fuck uh, the young Pope. That's I mean, that's my first favorite. You BoJack Horseman. Okay, right. BoJack Horseman. That's All the, right. that's the one. All right. 
Hey, and if you're out there listening, yo, I would recommend anybody to watch Shameless. And I recommend anybody watch BoJack Horseman. That is the fucking also Attack on Titan. That'll be one I've been been wanting you to watch. I've watched been like four you to watch. of it. Season two made me cry. <laughs> Not even like sad cry, like fucking. Ex- you've been excited crying, like ah, yeah, like true. wild, like yeah. That, that, pick one of those, bro. Please. Okay, That'd probably BoJack. <sighs> Attack on Titan is so fucking good. I don't know why you just run it. you're running from it. I you're am. running from it. I am. God, you made me so mad. <laughs> Uh, watch Amos. I'll, watch Amos. I'll watch both. All right. Okay. Got gotcha. you. All right. Got gotcha. you. Done. I can't Done. wait. Done. I can't wait. Watch Bojack Horseman, bro. And don't be don't be waiting for no laugh, nigga. This this nigga is sad. <laughs> 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 don't be waiting for no laugh, nigga. <laughs> you be the nigga be sitting on the edge of a pool and you be like, somebody somebody happened. <laughs> Credits. <laughs> you be like, what? <laughs> Next episode in episode episode start. Nigga's drunk, throwing up. Yeah. Shit hurts. People call him, cussing him out. It's just, this is the good. This is a good fucking, <laughs> good fucking show. It's like Nick Spirit Animal. Really? Yeah. That's hilarious. This fucking alcoholic horse. So good though. Yeah, he is like an alcoholic horse. So. <laughs> um. All right, now you're gonna. Have to, well, I was gonna say now you're gonna vamp again because now I gotta pee. Okay, gotcha. All right, guys. Um. You here, man? And just. <laughs> Just know we love you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's my main that's my main role in this whole thing to be supportive. Um I will be posting some pictures about the new setup. Um we we we're good now. We are done with the podcast. Not done with the podcast, we finished, but like as far as upgrades and equipment, I think we're good to go. Unless we want to hire like a uh, a guy to sit in the corner and like, you know, add shit for us. But um y'all we out here, man. We're trying to do uh we're trying to do a show at the Idiot Box on Friday nights after the UCC. Um, also check out the UCC. It's at the Idiot Box uh every Friday until like November eighteenth, eight thirty uh eight o'clock and a ten o'clock show. Hilarious comedic minds from across the state. Anyway, check that out. But after that, we'll try and get a show. Me and Micah, um, just roasting like old, bad or good movies. Um, gonna do that ten o'clock Friday night to Idiot Box. Please come out to that. Also, we're gonna try and do a live podcast somewhere in North Carolina. We gotta find a spot. We gotta find some people that you know that fuck with us. Thinking Idiot Box, thinking you know maybe a cool spot in Winston. Maybe I don't know. Maybe Good Nights if they have a free fucking whatever the fuck. But oh, yeah. we need an area to um, come talk to the people. Come talk to the open micers. We out here. You start, you, I think I heard you talk about the UCC. I said go check it out. You know. Yeah, I'm literally we're recording. Well, this. Yeah, we're recording right <laughs> before Micah's round. How, which, how you feeling, man? But you get still excited when to crush the competition? Um, you gonna take home the money this year? Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to do my thing. I have been feeling real stuck. Like competitions just fuck with your head. They do. Because no other show would I be like, is it bad that if I do some old jokes, nigga, do it, have fun, bro. That's what I'm just gonna do. Yeah, have fun, please, please, have please, fun. please, please have fun. I I'm, I, I just, I'm tired of letting people get into my head, man. Right, it's myself getting in my head, actually. But well, I mean, but like, that, but like, idea of other it's people like it's people pushing you into yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. normally you're good, like you're you're cool with yourself when you're playing league and fucking shit up, right? Yeah, like, sure. but then Trun, you walk in the room and be like, you're playing League of Legends. Like, what are you doing? If you're writing jokes, like, but you're chilling. Otherwise, you no. Nah, but I'm saying he uh-huh, would. Yeah, he yeah. wouldn't. He like. You know he would he wouldn't be in, in support. He's not of it. fucking off with this time at all. <laughs> He's fucking I don't know. I, I have no idea. Trendy. I, hope, I hope Trendy is doing well. I have no idea. I what always doing. Trendy doing <laughs> I'm about to spend like pretty much all day with him tomorrow. <clears throat> you got like it's not gonna be a blessing. He dropped knowledge, but the thing is, this is about this is the thing about Trendy. Trendy can drop knowledge. Trendy can drop knowledge. Is it Trendy can drop knowledge and indirectly? He can drop knowledge, or he can make it the quietest car ride of your <laughs> fucking life. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It could be either one. And then you drop knowledge on yourself. He does it through his like psyche. <laughs> I love Trendy Man. Same. We're going to actually get an episode with him tomorrow, right? That's the plan. I don't know. You bring the table. I, honestly, before I could leave, I could lay out and set up exactly everything you need to take. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. It's just, the only thing is the actual space. Some, I just want to be more consistent with the with the episode drop. So whatever we got to do for that to happen, I'm okay. like, all right, cool. All it's right. just annoying as shit. Yeah. It is. And I'm also thinking space wise, like it's, you know. I don't know. I feel like a goober. 
I mean, there's also the we did this one. Maybe we just say cut that one tomorrow if he goes. I mean, and also thinking if he's moving somewhere, is he going to want to leave? Well, he said he's, he a, he said he's like, I don't want to put his business out. All right, yeah, there. whatever. We can talk about this later. Yeah, but um, um, you see, we, we, we'll straight. try and link up with you and then and then do it. That's what we're trying to do. Sure. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Yeah, UCC is going to be lit. It's going to be fun shows. I can't, I can't wait to see him. You know what I mean? It's cool doing it. I was talking to Dusty about it. It's just like, even though I definitely want to be on the finals again just to do that show, even if I wasn't, it's going to be cool to watch it after doing it. The That's best what one Dusty I've been to was Dusty's. Honestly. Same. As far as I've, the, I've only been to two. And as then far I did as the, the most well, people not, and like Dusty's foot joke. Yeah, I think there was more people that hit that year for sure. <laughs> I remember that as a moment in time. Like, remember that? I, I remember like everybody being like, when you write that? Like, yeah. like we, we, everybody know everybody. When you write that? Yeah. You know, but um, I mean, I would like it, but I, I like it because I think of it more so like the Dragon Ball Z tournament, like the fucking you get to see fighters from across the land type shit. Yeah. So I like to see what people been working on. Yeah, if they've been working at all. Yeah, goddamn. Yeah, I mean, it's, this is my fucking. Bruh. This is my. Oh my god. This is my fifth time doing this shit. This is my yeah, time. did you hit year four or whatever the other day? Didn't you post about that? Yeah. Congrats, man. Thanks, dude. That's tight. That's an update. Feel like, yeah, I, feel like I, I guess I'll be doing it for three years, December 11th. See, that's kind of yours, like January 1st type shit. Fair. I mean, that's the first time I got on stage, but yeah. Oh, for real? January no, 1st? No, this, December 11th. True. It's just my brain. I'm like January. Every every New Year is another year. <laughs> after, um, after, uh, what was I going to say? After the New Year's when I actually, like, was really, I did it, like, a couple times that, like, December, but then it was, like, Christmas, and I was like, yeah. oh, I want to do it, I want to do it, I want to do it, I want to do it. Uh, and it's actually when I came back that New Year, and I was like, I'm really about to do this shit then. It's hard to start. I mean, it's, like, hard to start doing a comedy than, like, it is go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Like it's fucking. Nah. You don't think so? Now when I started doing comedy, I've never gone to the gym and then felt like I want to come back like that. Well, see, okay, but it's a start though. You see what I'm saying? Like for the longest time, like for two years, I was just oh, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm about to start doing this shit. But like that rejection is just like that. Like I think it's gonna be a lot of work. I'm like, I gotta write jokes all the time. Yeah. yeah. But like, and it's like you start chilling. Like you just get funny. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I just I'm, I'm talking to the crowd like I'll talk to you. Yeah. And that you know that is a good or a bad thing at times, but um. But the gym, yeah, you're right, man. I've never, I've never left the gym. Being, I mean, when I get home, and take the shower, then I'm like, okay, that was good. Yeah. That's the reason I be doing that shit on Snapchat, so I can watch myself. Be like, okay, in the morning when I'm like, don't want to go, I look at myself and be like, all right, I did this yesterday, I can do it again. Yeah. And I just make myself go, but that shit is so rough, bro. I don't, I don't really. It's a one nigga who like, he's clearly in shape, clearly is outdone playing the fitness, but he just hangs around. And I'm like, bro, you're an asshole. You don't need this. You don't need to be here. You just fucking taking up all the women and making all the dudes feel bad. Do you think he does just make all the dudes or is he just making you feel bad? <clears throat> but I mean the dude the dude the dude if you saw him you'd be like, Yeah, I get you talking about. Planet Fitness is like a level one gym. It's it's like it's like the level one, level one gym. Do you have a court in yours? No. Nah. Basketball court? Everyone's different. Yeah. You got a court in yours? I don't know. I want to see when I go. Uh, I know. I mean, I know some have like special rooms and shit like that. Mine's basic as fuck. Mine's like hella ellipticals, <laughs> hella stairmasters, and then like some weights and shit like that, and like a little stretch area. But I'm like, bro, I'm like, what would I need to be doing? What yeah. am I in? What am I walking up in here with my potato body going? Man, y'all ain't got this. Like, what? What's happening? You know what I'm saying? I need. I need yeah. to do some push ups. I need a chest. Yeah. What do you think about? It? Look perplexed. No, I was just thinking about <clears throat> a rows of elliptical machines. Honestly, I was just thinking about that. Planet Fitness, like, it's like old white people, young black people, just fucking Mexicans. Some it's just like we just, it's just like regular folk just trying to like just trying to Survive. do a little bit of change, man. You have the black card, huh? Do you have the black card? No, nah, regular. Yeah, the black card seems unnecessary. Unless you, unless you got a friend you want to work out with, if you can bring up somebody with you each time. Uh, if you get the black card, you can bring someone with you. Yeah, you, you can go to any planet fitness in the world. It's a weird feature. I mean, if you, if you let's say you was a bigger like traveling, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> a 
okay, a comedian. Most people are. Tight shit. Like, you a road comic. Sure. You got a black car. You can go to any place fitness and just work out. You know what I'm saying? And they got showers and shit and dance. They got gyms at hotels. I mean, yeah, but what they don't? They do. But what they don't? It's like a standard thing. Well, if you're not getting a hotel at the time, you're getting a motel. You know what I'm saying? We'll be in your car one. I mean, I'm just saying, bro. I got a motel, I'm not working out. (laughs) Straight up. I'm done with you, bro. I'm like a motel life. The fuck? Um, I love the people, man. You love the people? What do you got to say to the people? I I love you. Yeah. (laughs) 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 Okay, yeah. All right, I get that. Just, I mean, just like, I mean... We get to tr- we get to try the progress of the podcast and everything, and like our numbers are trending upwards. Hey. So I mean, I thank you. I love like that's. I thank mean, I can't you. help but just like every time I get on the mic, we, I'm talking. Even to, like, though a we couple dropped more... episode one thousand, we we still in this bitch. Yeah, we said episode what? Uh, one hundred. Damn. I was like, nigga, how? you know what level I'm on, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, nigga you know my comment of one thousand, nigga. Uh, I actually made that dumb thought in the car. I was like, man, we at least thousand. Episode, episode. thousand will be eight Joe, years from now. Joe Rogan has released episode one thousand. Like now he's passed out. I think I was like conflating the two. But episode one hundred still live, still gang. Mark Marin still in that bitch. Joey Diaz still in that bitch. For real. Joey Diaz, my favorite podcast. I mean, hand, out of any podcast on the market right now, Joey if, Diaz is my if favorite you, podcast. If you had to only listen to one forever. Joey Diaz. Joey oh. Diaz. Joey Diaz. Joey Diaz. Joey Diaz. I Joey would Diaz. either, I would probably go Joe Rogan's. No, man. I would have to go I, yeah, Joe I feel, Rogan's. I feel, but like Joey. Because right. Joey will be on that. <laughs> yeah, Joe, Joe, <laughs> Rogan will never be on fucking Joey Diaz. <laughs> He's done it a couple of times. He's done it a couple of times. Oh, but, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, like back in the day and shit. But Joey Diaz has had those raw fucking Joey stories. Joey Diaz is so funny. On he's a, so fucking funny. And he's just so, he sometimes he'll get disgusting. But I'm like, bro, I'm going to use that for sure, though. He's just like talking about old finger banging techniques and shit like that. I'm like, nigga, that's like What'd he say? Just fucking, he was talking to this girl, Kate Quigley. He was talking about like fucking yada, yada, yada. Fucking fucking rock of crack. Fuck rock of cocaine in your pussy and, and snort that bitch out. So yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. was like, oh my God. And he was just like, nah, man, this shit's going to work. And he was like, how many times? Who says yes? He says all of them. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, I'm like, I would listen to that shit for fucking ever. I mean, and I'm also just me seeking some like male advice type shit. Like my uncles are always it's like it's the church, man. My uncles are my uncles are like, yo, boy, be careful, don't do too much. They did a lot. <laughs> don't do and too much. And they like they got they paying for it. They like don't do too much out there. Be careful, keep your head on straight. Yeah. My granddad's like, don't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like my granddad is like, he, he had one divorce and he was like, don't ever don't nothing. Nice. Um, and my dad's like, the demons out to get us. Yeah. I never had a, I never had like a male figure that was like gave me any kind of like mm-hmm. try this out. You know what I'm saying? Like never like no kind of like. Like lawful good type advice. It's always, yeah. it's always been like you do the right thing. Get <laughs> I thought about woman, that a lot, man. Go to church. I love Joey Diaz podcast, and he really does fill a lot of holes for someone that didn't grow up with a fa- like a strong male figure in their life. Fills a lot of holes for sure. For you sure. know what I mean? Uncle Joey. Yeah, but I'm saying Joe Rogan is more like a crazy science teacher. I'm like, bro, I feel you on what you're talking about. <laughs> I feel you, my nigga. But it's all so funny, and it's like informative, and like high thinking, and like. I like how it challenges like my thought and my mind, and like I learn about shit. True. I mean, not a lot of it sticks, but it kind of sticks. I would go Joey Diaz, fucking top three. Um, cool. All right. All right. Jo- All right. No, um, Joey Diaz. I, honestly, I would go Joe Rogan, and then I swear to God, I would go Brilliant Idiots. I would go Brilliant Idiots right after that. I would go Joey Diaz and Burt Kreischer. That's a good one. I love Burt Kreischer. I might yeah. have to go Pete Holmes after that. Yeah, but yeah. do it's you good. still listen to Pete Holmes podcast? Sometimes, like, uh, some episodes are lit. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I'm like, sometimes he's I'm changed. Like, I'm like, sometimes I'm like, nigga, you too happy. Yeah, it's changed. It's different. I can't say since it's crashing? not different. And obviously, not since Christ, and just over time has changed. Some of those old episodes, man. Wow, damn, are we gonna get like that? Pete and Sebastian. Pete, yo, that yeah, might be the third freak. one, man. Dude, my, honestly, I, my honorable miss is, is Trinity Force podcast. You play, listen, you play I, League I, of Legends. I've listened to it. Are you serious? A couple times, yeah. You heard the Jungle episode? No, that's probably the one. But see, what's cool about that podcast? I really do envy this. Since it's an online community, it's an online game. They can interview niggas that are just in Canada, whatever. Like, just yeah. You know, they're like, yeah, we got Diamond Five here, uh, main, Jungle Main, and this niggas just like, yeah, y'all are fucking up. Uh, stop yeah. doing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> stop shit. fucking. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, stop fucking, uh, stop fucking fucking up. You, you, you're ruining shit. Don't, uh, stop ganking early. You, you're trash. Stop playing some of your champions. I'm just like, God, like, just, yeah, you know, the this early real gank, shit. I've actually kind of gotten out of that. It's old. It's like, why not? <laughs> everybody expects it. Why not? <laughs> yeah, everybody. Everybody's like, like, early gank, and it just happens. <laughs> yeah. Also, like, 
early ward. Every, when I land, I'm like, early ward. So I can defend this punk ass curly gank. And then I play to that side of the lane or whatever the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> that's like, like, that's what I'm immediately thinking. But um, it, it makes more sense to be like, how about I just farm up? <laughs> And if someone's feeding, I go help the other lions that are doing well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'll know what to do by the then. Nigga, nigga it's too <laughs> early. I don't I don't know who to feed. Like, I'll go That's try to do something. Like, he's like, when niggas feeding, they're dead to you. <laughs> <laughs> bro, like, you got to be cutthroat with this game, bro. I need everybody my th- well, fuck on the same mindset. Myron, <laughs> Myron be on some fucking Captain save a whole type shit. Got to save every goddamn body in the game. I'm like, nigga, I'm winning, bro. You got to help me win. These niggas are losing. You're just helping them lose slower. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're going to lose regardless. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, he was just dropping knowledge my nigga yeah. you know what I'm saying like, it's, just, it's like some cutthroat thinking like I get, you gotta cut niggas out your life to put, win this game yeah we're you talking know? about League of Legends by the way we get into it so deep we, I mean point. that's I mean that's also <laughs> on some other shit bro if we did like some League episodes and just like started cause I was going online trying to like research how to like get a following shit like that I'm, I was like kinda nerdy I didn't want to talk about it but uh nah what the fuck help <laughs> <care, laughs> help nigga talk to me <laughs> no but like we okay the Facebook and everything is good so everybody's updated on what we're still doing I and mean, we'll get fought, we'll get people like through that way, but like the power of hashtags is so stupid. But if we did a League of Legends episode and then hashtag League of Legends, all that shit, Twitter and Instagram and all that shit, it's like it's like a cast on the web out for like brand new people who are just looking through shit. Yeah. To to jump on, you see what I'm saying? So like, what we're doing is what we're doing is more so just like. I mean, we're probably still getting a good amount of downloads because people are on Facebook like that, like, oh, shit, the podcast dropped. Let me, let me check it out. Yeah. Because um, some people do listen to it straight to the website. Well, I say a lot of people. But if we want to get more people, we got to start fucking blasting uh, Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, you know. I feel like we got some people when we made that League of Legends post uh, on the Instagram. Like, yeah. People come like, hey, hey, nice. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, I think we should just, like, take one a piece. I don't fuck with Twitter like that. I want to fuck with Twitter, though. I do want to fuck with Twitter. I'm on Twitter, dog. But you on Twitter. Love Twitter. Okay, you take Twitter. I'll take Instagram. Okay. All right. All right. Boom. I'll be on our Twitter. Mm. I saw that. I saw that post you did about the fucking um, the girl from SNL coming to Idiot Box. Yeah. Also, Idiot Box doing that comedy festival, man. Shout that out. So like, sick. Yo, your Idiot Box is giving opportunities in the Dude, game. and shouts out. They really took a time to be like, let's put the pedal to the metal now. For real, like as far as like a club that had been paid their dues, they're really like let's capitalize on these opportunities. Yeah, for real, cooler venue, fucking better environment, overall better. I guess vibe. The, oh, no, I'm not trying to be smart. The old place, or old place is great. And like, isn't like SparkCon you can't do if you don't live out there? Like, yeah, up? yeah. I'm be. I'm just gonna be really honest. I don't understand the SparkCon thing, and it's not that I don't have any beefs with anybody, but I've tried to be in the SparkCon a couple times and. Even though I knew I, I would still submit just because I wanted to submit, and maybe it's too early for sure. Um, and I was told that you got to live in Raleigh or you got to live in the triangle, it's the triangle only. And I've always seen the triangle. Now I live in Durham. And then when it was posted about it, I commented on it and I was like, hey, I live in Durham now. Like, and on the post, it was like, this is Raleigh only. I'm like, that's literally such a, I live in Durham. I'm, you know, I'm 30 minutes away. Yeah. Can I at least submit to this? No one ever said anything. Wow. No one ever responded. The person that posted never responded to my comment. And I was just like, okay. Mm. And then I guess I won't have to, I, I guess I don't want to like, I'm not trying to talk shit, but a comic I know that lives near the area, but doesn't live in the, the city of Raleigh. Yeah. It lives in like, a, they live in a. It's in the festival. It's in the festival. And I'm just like, I would have submitted if I'd known. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But see, I'm, I'm bringing it back around to idiot box. Shout out to them for giving us opportunities. True, like, just like, right. just like looking you're out, right. just looking out for niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause com- comedy is ruthless. And also, y'all. also, there might have been something I missed. Maybe I could have <laughs> submitted, but I'm in confusion about it. <laughs> but I'm in confusion. Like like and like, the pe- the people helping him right now are at the idiot box. So that's like, <laughs> that's my main. I love the idiot box. That's, yeah, you know, that's the headquarters, man. Headquarters. That's, that's 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 number one. If I if I if that club's still around. And I ever have any kind of clout, I'm gonna try to do everything in my power, like just pack it out, do crazy shit there, like do yeah. just whatever. I don't care how many people it is. Yeah. I'll do six shows. I'll do fucking. Well, I don't know about that, but I'll do. I'll do fucking three shows a night type shit. I fucking. I want to go in. I want. That's my. That's my yeah. fucking. That's home. You know what I'm saying? For sure. How much fun you can have there? Yeah. Mark, you see how uh, Mark Curry destroyed that shit. So amazing. How good do you gotta be? How good do you gotta be? That shit was so incredible. 
That's just like I've been doing this for decades. Shit. That's, this that's is just fucking, like this is this is what you can do. It was watching it was watching Michael Jordan dribble a basketball, and it, it wasn't even watching him dunk. Because he was just in there like say anything. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Like he didn't do any material. He didn't say any like jokes. Maybe he just has that he's written a joke for everything, and like his I don't know, but off the cuff riffing was insane. That was his whole set. He was like, I have nothing to say. <laughs> Tell me what to say. God, but like. I don't know. I, I want that that level is what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at any kind of like blow up type shit or like anybody trying to put me on or anything. I'm just like, yo, I want to get that funny. And like I'm getting the chance to get that funny with, you know, Jenny Stencil, Steve Lester and all them. Like it's just fucking I'm just I'm just hella grateful. Yeah. You know. I mean, yeah. I, it's not a lot of niggas four years in that they ain't I done mean, half the shit I've bro, done. Bro, I mean, I love all the places that let me get on stage and hold a microphone, but I, to call back to the Higgins episode, he mentioned like find the place that lets you be, be you. What you makes you feel like is you, yeah. like where you're where you are you the most, and try to perform there as much as possible. Yes, that's what the eighty box is. That's exactly what it is. Some I, sometimes to his detriment. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know. Am I too in my groove here? No. Nah. Sometimes I'm like, is this easy? Dig but no. Fuck, but, I'm like, but nah, that's good. Bruh. I need to feel it's just easy. Sharp. It's like, it's like yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, you're yeah, you're think right, about, think about right, like working right, a different right. muscle yeah. or like sharpening a different part of the blade. Like sh- get that shit strong. Like if the idiot box is like comedic legs, I'm doing legs like a motherfucker. Because like whenever they do need a goofy riff your ass off, like weird comedian that's like pleasant. I'm there, nigga. Like that's yeah. I'm like, nigga. <laughs> I've been training. I've been training just for this shit. Yeah, I've been training just for this shit. I'm ready to go. Fucking small room warriors, bro. Like, oh, niggas be like, man, I ain't doing that show. It's only two people. I'm like, nigga, give me that fucking microphone. I'm gonna learn some names and talk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm fucking ready to go. I'm be honest, and this is on some. This is on me just fucking not tooting my own horn shit, but like on some fucking squad shit. I don't know. If whenever I did that trolley show and that I talked to you about like the Indian dude like yeah. loudly having a conversation in yeah. a different language in the middle of the room like to the point to where it's like I, I can't even keep the focus of everyone else because they're like looking at the dude because he's so loud and like no yeah. one's saying anything for like eight minutes of my twelve minute set. Um, I don't think I think only idiot box comics can handle that. <laughs> it's just That's my, straight just up. Open not not nah, not nah, nah, nah. yeah yeah, but just to deal with that and not like. Completely fold. Well, but this this is um, people, people probably get mad, but I'm like I'm thinking in terms of like not completely flipping out angrily. You probably could. You could probably or, you, you might be able to you might be able to get through it. But I feel like if you've really been in the like, especially the old place, like you're more equipped. Like you you have more of. If you've you been to the old idiot box, you are well equipped to handle some fucking <sighs> some bold disrespect. Yeah. We had a train. A train would just disrespect your set <laughs> yeah. off of being a train. Off machinery. Just you, you could be sheer crushing. design. It would you could be crushing. You. Yeah. <laughs> Letting them know came from the train, I think. Yeah, the train. Because you had to know. let the train know. Train. And you let the crowd know what's up with the train. Yeah, it's a fucking train. But I feel you on that, man. It's just like, I don't know. It's just a certain, there's a certain vibe to it, man. Because they will, like, people are going to laugh. They will, they will laugh. You just got to say Gotta be funny. You gotta say the right shit. Yeah, you know. But maybe we're just box bias. We, bo- I'm, I know I'm box I'm, bias. I'm, I'm box bias. But I just know, I just know how the box was and how the box is now. I just put my dues in. So like, I know, I just know what's up. Yeah, it's been four years, and that's why. We and I remember when way. I first showed up there, nigga, I'm bombing all the fucking time. Like, what, did, what? I don't know what niggas want. Like, yeah, niggas weren't getting in the first until I get it, until I got it, and then you know, one step at a time type shit. All right, what do you want to wrap up on? Um. Nothing in particular, just fucking Bojack Horseman uh, okay. on some real shit. Shameless on some real also, shit. Also, add us on League of Legends, man. I'm hyped now. I really hey. want to fucking uh, Micah, what's I wanna good? play some shit. Add me, boy. Uh, Black Jester. It's, my, it's everything. Yeah. But fucking. Can you change that name? Huh? Can you change that name, that tag? Yeah. You can? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I might change mine. Change it. But I feel like people know it now. It's what I mean, it's whatever. I'm try- I, mean, I got to figure out how to get that fucking stream shit to work. Makes me so mad. That's gonna be great, man. Yeah. What time is it? You got that? You got that fucking round? Yeah, I gotta fucking get ready and get my mind right. All right. Well, thank you guys for listening. Get Hell yeah. Shit. Um, I don't know whose turn it is, so I'm gonna pick a song. Man, come on, you, you stay picking the song. Hey, you stay what, picking the song. What song? Now nah, I don't stay picking the song. What song's about to be? Hold on, vamp. Look at you. St- Stay picking the song. I can't help pick no songs. Hey. I ain't pick the song. Hey, like you know, eight you, know you know what song I'm gonna pick? A song I had just listened to. Um. Uh, fucking that Mike Jones song. I forgot what it's called. The one where he sang his number. 
He's like, nine, two, eight, one, three, 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 four, eight, 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 the open micers at gmail.com. And if you guys are listening on iTunes, please, please, please go rate and review. Rate and review is the easiest way for the podcast to grow and get more people to listen. Yeah, and like, you know, just follow your dreams, nigga. You know? Yeah, just in general, you got a dream. Do that shit. Do that shit, bro. Thank you. Before I came up in the game, they hold the show no love. They see me in the club and used to treat me like a scrub. They wouldn't holler cause my dollars weren't swollen up. I bet they change their mind when them 80 bows come rolling up. They see that I'm a star, now they wanna sit in my car. Now they wanna count my G's, smoke my weed and sip my bar. Now they used to love to diss me, now they rush to hug and kiss me. Now they telling all their friends when I leave how they miss me. Now 281 Hit my Jones up on the low cause my Jones about to blow. Before the ice was in my grill Before I got my major deal These hoes wouldn't give a damn if I was here Shit, yeah, I said before the ice was in my grill Before I got my major deal These hoes wouldn't give a damn if I was here Shit, yeah, I said before the ice was in my grill Before I got my major deal These hoes wouldn't give a damn if I was here Shit, yeah, because Back then hoes didn't want me Now I'm hot hoes all on me Back then hoes didn't want me Now I'm hot hoes all on me Back then hoes didn't want me Now I'm hot hoes all on me Back then hoes didn't want me Now I'm hot hoes all on me Back then, hoes didn't want me. Now I'm hot, hoes all on me. Back then, hoes didn't want me. Now I'm hot, hoes all on me. Back then, hoes didn't want me. Now I'm hot, hoes all on me. Back then, hoes didn't want me. Now I'm hot, hoes all on me. I remember back then, most of them hoes couldn't stand me, but now them same hoes begging me to pull down their pants. A couple of them said I was cute, but I was just too chubby. Same size, a year later, the same hoes wanna fuck me because they see me paid pimping pins, working my jelly, and they ain't tripping cause my pockets stick out more than my belly. They know I'm paid, living late in the shade, two slabs in the Escalade. With four or five estates, they know that I got it made. I'm a motherfucking baller. She would want a nigga now, but I ain't got no time to call her. I'm a staller like she styled me. Now she tryna call me. Bitch, I'm a dog your whole ass like you dog me. I'm Mike Jones. Don't act like you don't know the name. Ain't nothing changed but my change. I'ma stay the same. I'm Mike Jones. Don't act like you don't know my name. Ain't nothing changed but my change. I'ma stay the same. Now I'm hot, hold on, 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 now I'm hot, hold on,